and then in probably the early 90s I decided along with my sister that we were going to go and do a, a course together I was going to do another degree and her and I started studying together and uh, she came to me one day with this article that she had uh, been given by her tutor it's titled The Body Snatchers and the article explained how uh, this actually occurred and there was uh, documents or journals found in, in a, a place in Queensland in a town called Bowen and they found the journals of a man that lived there and it was well documented on what actually occurred and how how Aboriginal people's bodies were deboned and it was also talking about how throughout the world uh, in different in different places from Germany France England all these different countries where they still held bones and skulls body parts of Australian Aboriginal people and they still had them there and when I read that that article it really uh, it really impacted on me because Emotionally, I, I um, thought back to my father telling me what happened and I was overcome with guilt. I felt so guilty because I didn't want to believe him and I actually, in my mind, was challenging whether he was telling the truth or whether he was making it up and I felt very ashamed of myself. And so I had to deal with that as well. And it was, it was here, I had to come back home and make my apologies to my dad because he was telling the truth. But then I, I came to a decision, well, I, I felt that I, I didn't believe him because that's what I had to do to, to keep going. And if I, was going to, if I was going to go into nursing, that was something that I needed to do because I don't think I would have went into nursing if I didn't have that attitude. So I dealt with this myself and I also had to deal, it took me a while, and I say a while in a, in a, in a few years, a number of years of constantly thinking about that history and then realising that I had to, I had to forgive um, such terrible things that had happened. I had to forgive for what people had done in the past. And I knew in order for me to, to move forward, um, I, I had to forgive for what, what had actually happened. And I did. And I could only talk about it and deal with, with that part of history uh, by doing that. And that was a, a, a big thing for me to do. And I think when I look at it and, and I look at my research now, for people to start to heal and move forward, many, many people I interviewed said that they needed to forgive. So that was in line with my own way of thinking and doing. They said they had to forgive in order to move forward and, and start a healing process because they couldn't start healing until they had forgiven for the past. They never said to forget about the past, but what they said they had to uh, actually acknowledge that past, forgive what had happened, and then start, start the healing process. Seeing other Aboriginal people around me, I, I saw probably more Aboriginal people not, not forgiving. They, they, they were very angry, many were, were sad and, and many, many were what, what, I'd, what I'd say would be a victims. They were the victims of, of the history of, of what happened. So they couldn't, really could not forgive and Certainly, as my father would say, they, they, didn't, they didn't let it go. They could not let the past go.